The controversy is finally over. Or perhaps it's just beginning. Despite what seems to be widespread opposition, Bruce Benson is CU's new president. Colorado's Senate Minority Leader Andrew McElhaney voiced his support for Benson, who was the sole finalist in the presidential search. You will never find anybody that focuses as much as like a laser beam like Bruce does and a work ethic that's second to none. Also on hand at last night's vote were many CU students who were opposed to Benson's selection. They came from all three campuses along with the University of Colorado Student Union to express how they felt about Benson. That Mr. Benson does not meet the qualification that students value in a president. But ultimately, the decision was up to the region. And uh, Bruce Benson has uh, been voted on and is the next president of the University of Colorado. As expected, all six Republican regents on the nine-member board voted in favor of Benson. Before the vote, students, faculty, and members of the public gathered for a final discussion, weighing the pros and cons of Benson's nomination. The main issues discussed were his ability to raise funds and his ties to the oil industry. Several students expressed dismay that their objections to Benson were not being heard. In this case, the means have not justified the ends. The process has led, that has led to this final vote has been shrouded in mystery, devoid of community participation, and unnecessarily expedited. The final vote ended a long journey that began in December of 2007, when Benson made a last-minute entry into the run for CU's next president. News about Benson's election as the sole finalist for the position have polarized the CU community. Both students and faculty raised concerns about the integrity of the selection process, asking questions about Benson's right-wing activism and the fact that he holds only a bachelor's degree earned from CU in 1964. Last week, the CU Boulder faculty voted against him. Many students also rallied, asking Benson to drop out. But despite the opposition, Benson still enjoyed much support. Three Colorado senators and even Mayor Hickenlooper spoke on his behalf, saying his dedication to Colorado schools is clear. He is the most relentless and focused individual when he takes on an enterprise. The region's decision to name Benson as CU's 22nd president has brought out mixed reactions. One thing is for certain, there will be more controversy in his future. What's next for the University of Colorado? Only time will tell. I'm Alexandra O'Rourke, News Team Boulder.